Greg's worst nightmare comes to life. Once again, he recognizes an animal by the sound its feet make when they touch the ground. He hears a hyena. And I thought, it's coming behind me. At that point, there was this total silence. I could hear my heart sort of boom, boom. It was that silent. And it made me very conscious how totally alone I was. All I wanted now was for that night to end. I had this nightmare that a hyena was going to come up behind me. I know what hyenas are capable of. Bone crushers, as they're also known. They've got the most powerful jaws of anything. I also know someone who was carted off by a hyena, and he was a fully able-bodied man, but he was sleeping, and they dragged him away. That was the biggest scare of the lot that a hyena might come up behind me. Get through this, he's a stubborn beggar. Yeah, well, you know him better than they do. They uh, don't think there's any point in him going out again tomorrow. He's alive, okay? You know Greg. He wouldn't give up. I won't either. I'll talk to the pilot and the others, see if they can give us another morning at least. Thanks. I was terrified to even think about going to sleep because I knew that I wouldn't wake up again. That would be it. Then Greg's worst nightmare comes to life. Once again, he recognizes an animal by the sound its feet make when they touch the ground. He hears a hyena. And I thought, it's coming behind me. And it's gonna come right in the worst spot. It's gonna come round the back, which is where I really had absolutely no control. Once again, Greg uses his knowledge of animal behavior. He grabs hold of his stick and gets ready to hit the plane with it and create a noise to startle the beast. I waited until it seemed like forever. I knew if something came one step closer, then would have meant that I'd failed. Then I heard this like, just footfall. Just getting less and less and less. I 
remember lying there at that particular point thinking, is there any is there anything else that's gonna be chucked at me? You know, what what else is gonna come? You know, what what other brick's gonna come down? Greg does his best to stay positive. In one hour the sun will rise and he will have made it through the night. But it is one very long hour. It was very frustrating waiting for the daylight to come. I contacted our office. We had 15 people that could come over and help with the ground search so we could cover a wider area. And they were there, they came, ready and waiting to help with the search. I watched, looking for the sun to come over the horizon. And when it finally did, I felt these rays coming all the way towards me. And it was, it was an amazing experience. I suddenly felt wonderful. I was bathed in light and heat and warmth. I felt secure for a moment. And then the harsh reality dawned on me that it was that sun, that burning, was going to continue and it was going to kill me. <laughs> 